My name is Logan McCoy, and I'm the Vice President of Services for CCB Technology. I'd like to thank you for joining me today on this final of four installments in looking at Microsoft's Office 365 solution. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the admin console today. So this is going to be extremely relevant for anybody that's an IT manager, director of IT, anybody that's really going to be responsible for managing the Office 365 tenant within an organization's environment. Now, what you should see on your screen right now is what I've done is already gone and logged in to my Office 365 demo tenant. You can see up here that if I was on the very uh, home page, I would click right on the Rubik's Cube up here on the top left, and I would click right on the admin application right here. Once I've done that, it brings me right to this page where I have really, in this instance, a single pane of glass to manage absolutely everything in my Office 365 tenant. Now, what you see on the screen right now is what Microsoft calls the dashboard for the Office 365 admin tenant. And this really gives you just a really quick snapshot overview of what's happening within your current environment. So one of the most important things right now is, is everything functioning, is everything running properly. And so Microsoft 24-7 gives you this current health status for each of the applications that you have within your Office 365 environment. Obviously, green means that everything is running properly. Yellow might mean there's some planned maintenance that's occurring. Red would mean that it's actually down and there's something that's being fixed on Microsoft's end to remediate that issue. But right here it gives you a nice, really quick, easy to view snapshot of what's happening within your current environment. Now on the left over here, what you're going to see are a number of different tabs for which you can utilize to navigate your Office 365 admin tenant. Once you have everything set up, right within here is where you could very quickly and easily come in and see what users you currently have assigned within your Office 365 environment. So as I've clicked on here and I'm utilizing a demo tenant that gives me up to 25 users, what you're going to see here are 25 different users built within this organization. Now let's say, for example, I wanted to come in and actually utilize Karen Berg's uh, user ID to see what's happening within her current user profile. I would click right on Karen Berg's profile right there, and wonderfully it pulls up a nice little picture of me, gives me her title, what department she's in, and right from there I could actually go in and reset her password, edit her roles, I could just edit the profile in general, I could delete her profile if need be, and I can make any edits to what you see assigned below. So all within this very quickly, I could actually make some pretty major changes within a user's environment, but not really having to go click by click by click by click, I can very easily access that information. Now, I'm not going to touch on each of these just for sake of time, but the next one that I really do want to touch on is billing. And a major reason for this is because we've been a Microsoft partner for over 20 years, and we've worked with clients specifically for their Microsoft solutions for that, those number of years. And one of the pain points that I know a lot of our clients oftentimes have had is having to manage your license subscriptions within Microsoft. How many licenses do I have? How many we've we deployed? Are we right now compliant with how many we've purchased as compared to how many we've deployed, right? And so right within here, you can very quickly see what the actual um, subscriptions are within your Office 365 tenant, and you can also very quickly see what you've deployed. So for example, right now, oh, and it's because I have it turned off, if you go back into the admin portion here and we look at just Power BI, for example, it very quickly shows you what that looks like and how many you've actually deployed. You can also view that information right here within the license portion of everything. So very quickly I can see what the different types of applications are sweet that I have, so what's valid, if any of them have expired, and how many of them I've assigned. So I can very quickly see, okay, I've, I've reached my maximum. If, I, if I'm having another user come in because we've just hired them, I know that I'll need to purchase an additional license of, in this instance, E5, to get them to move forward so that we are properly licensed in that regard. But it's great because you're, you're able to manage all of that right within your Office 365 tenant. Now another thing that Microsoft has built in, and I haven't set it up within this demo tenant, but is your ability to actually do some basic mobile device management. So if you need to wipe a user's company or corporate information without wiping their own because it's actually their own personal device, you can set that up within this own MDM solution all within this Office 365 tenant. And this is specifically relevant for things like email, OneDrive, and SharePoint, as all that information can very easily be stored both within that system, uh, local user system that is actually a corporate device as well as their own personal information. 
Now, within this as well, Microsoft has built in some great reports that really enable you to kind of get a good overview of different things that are happening within your environment. And they break it down by, of course, the major applications. So, for example, I can see how many active and inactive mailboxes I have from an exchange perspective. I can see my current mailbox usage. I can see the new and deleted mailboxes. It breaks that down for Skype and SharePoint, OneDrive. If there are any things I need to do from a compliance perspective and run certain audits, whether it's on the legal hold, the DLP, so on and so forth, I can do that all within here by running some very nice reports. Now, within here from a service help perspective, what's really nice is that I could actually come in and see, okay, what is the plan maintenance? And if right now there's nothing actually happening on the Microsoft end because this is a demo tenant, but if there was, it would actually show me what the service was that they were performing, when the outage, if there was going to be any, was going to be incurred, and when they could expect this to be completed by all within here so you can see what's happening. Now, right within the support category, this is where I can come in, and Microsoft does provide within their Office 365 solution 24 by 7 support. So right within here, if I'm experiencing an issue and I've done everything on, on my end to remediate that issue as best as I can, and now I've determined that this really is just an issue on Microsoft's end, well, I can come in here and create a service request within Microsoft, breaks it down by exactly what you see here. And so let's even just say, for example, it's a billing or a product info issue. I could come in here, click on billing and product info, fill out the information that's going to pull up here shortly, and then from there, click it all the way through so that that information is then sent to Microsoft for them to begin to look into that situation. Now, from that perspective, the thing that I do want to just make clear and let you know and all of that is that even though Microsoft provides that 24 by 7 support, we do have a number of users that utilize our own CCB technology support because that support within Microsoft, at times it's great, from a technical perspective, it's not always great from an actual a response time perspective. And if you're dealing with a critical issue, you might want to be able to escalate that. And so while I'm not going to dive into that here. One thing, if you are interested in it, is talking with your CCB account manager in regards to what, what CCB offers from additional Office 365 support to help give you that peace of mind that we're going to help keep your environment up and running. Now, the other thing that you're able to do all within here is if you remember me earlier showing you what the billing section looked like and how many licenses I have and if I've reached my maximum, what that looks like. If I have reached my maximum, I can actually come right in here and actually show you what it looks like so that I can buy those additional licenses right within this tenant if need be. And of course, this is showing the corporate pricing. If you've been approved for that nonprofit pricing, whatever is available from an application standpoint as well as pricing will be applied within that, uh, that purchase service tab. Now, down below here, specifically, I want to get into Exchange because I know for a lot of people, it's going to be relevant for what the Exchange Admin Console looks like. And so right from in there, I clicked on Admin, pulled out, clicked right on Exchange Admin Center. And as you see here, this looks very similar to to Exchange 2013, right? So all within here, I've got this dashboard right here as well as these tabs on the side. And, and really, these are the exact same. You can see what's the primary uh, section here describing what's listed below is also what's listed on the side here. So this is where I can manage my mailbox, my groups, my resources. This is where I can set the different permissions of admin and user roles. Depending on which um, version of Office 365 you have, this is where I can utilize eDiscovery and Legal Hold. This is where I can do additional auditing. If I need to maintain PCI or HIPAA compliance. This is where I can do things from a data loss prevention standpoint. This is also where I can set those retention policies uh, based on those tags that are listed here. Microsoft builds in part of their Forefront Exchange uh, suite, and so different malware, content filtering, spam in both inbound and outbound, that can all be baked in within here and configured as needed so that it meets your organization's specific needs. Different mail flow, whether it's based on rules or message trace, or can be specifically listed within here, as well as the specific MDM solution for Exchange ActiveSync, right? So right within here, if you've got an iPhone, Android, or Windows phone, and you've got those users that are utilizing that to access their company emails, you can come in and also manage that here. So in case that user loses that device, so they're no longer with the organization, you can very quickly and easily wipe that device of all of that information as well as manage public folders, which at one time was not available within Office 365, but is now available for and has been so for a number of years. So if you've been utilizing that from an on-premise standpoint, that can also be utilized within your Office 365 tenant. So I know this was a very quick and brief overview of the admin console within Office 365. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to me or to your CCB account manager. But I do want to say a big thank you for taking the time to be with me on this today. I hope it was very valuable, and have a great day.